All right, so last week we tried out a trading Devin Booker and a trading Damian Lillard realistic rebuild. So today I'm going to take it to the extreme. We are going to be doing a post Giannis Antetokounmpo Milwaukee Bucks rebuild. So like I said in those rebuilds, I'm not saying this is going to happen. In my personal opinion, I think Giannis is going to re-sign with Milwaukee at some point. Either it's in the 2020 offseason or the 2021. That is what I think right now. But for today's video, we are going to do something fun. We are going to be trading Giannis. Not saying this is going to happen in real life, but we're going to be trading Giannis and doing a realistic box rebuild, maybe around Chris Middleton, maybe whoever we get for Giannis, but we're going to try to figure that out. So I don't know what I want to trade Giannis for. We could maybe ship him to Golden State and get their top pick this year. Maybe we could see if Boston would give up something. I mean, I know like it's going to be hard to find a realistic Giannis trade. I do plan on this being a realistic rebuild, but the trade part of this is probably going to be the most unrealistic thing of the video, unfortunately, because we don't really know. Who would give up the King's Ransom for Giannis and even if the Bucks, what they would even take for Giannis? We will have one first round pick in the top 20s from the Malcolm Brogdon sign and trade and that is going to be at 18. The Celtics are going to get the, our pick at 30. Yes, we did win it all, but let's ignore that. Let's say we lost in like the conference finals around two and Giannis, it's looking like he's going to leave Milwaukee. So... John Horse and company is going to look to trade him. We're going to keep Boonholzer. How's my trainer? David Jameson. We'll fire him. We'll pick up Randy Martin. How's my assistant GM? All right. So, yeah, we'll just sign Randy Martin. But it's draft time. Now, I don't know. I, I kind of wanted to see one thing. Like, I was like, oh, Boston. Like, would they trade? Like, I know Celtics fans wouldn't even want to do this. But Jason Tatum for Giannis. I would have to take on 12 mil more. Uh, Marcus Smart and Jason Tatum. Like, I don't even think Celtics fans would want to do this personally. But let's just see if they accept this. I don't even know if they will. Um... Well, Marcus Smart, like, I don't have to take on Marcus Smart, but he's going to be, like, the only one that can make the salary work out. So, you know, what? let's just see. What, would they even accept this? No. Okay. So, <laughs> if I threw up Giannis in the trade finder, can I even get anything? No. Nice. All right. I think I'm going to try to offer this to Miami. Now, like, I know this isn't a great return for Giannis, but we get two players on rookie contracts at the moment. Bam will be restricted free agent, I believe, next year. But I wouldn't mind this return for 2K. In real life, maybe they would be like, this is a little lackluster. Yeah, you get Bam, one of the better young players in the NBA. But we still don't know if Tower Hero is going to ever be a top 20 guy in the NBA or a top 5 shooting guard one day. So it is a little risky there. But yeah, we're going to see if they would accept this and two first round picks. No? Okay. What about just your first rounder this year? No? Oh, come on. Come on. I I'll give you... I mean, in this sense, like, I wouldn't mind also unloading Brooke Lopez as well because I kind of want to give Bam those minutes. So, could this get it done and I'll uh, take that first round pick? Now, what about if we just did this? Really? You're getting Giannis. All right, take Ursan Ilya Silva and let's call it a day. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I'm going to have to throw in a second round pick. What are you doing, Andy Ellisberg and Pat Riley? Accept this trade. <laughs> what? Okay, I wouldn't mind throwing in a 34-year-old George Hill, but can I still get this first-round pick, maybe? Thank you. Okay, they really wanted George Hill oh, over Ursan Elisova, but we got the first-round pick. All right, so we kind of unloaded our veterans, uh, besides Giannis, obviously, who's, what, 25, 26 years old? But we have a 28-year-old in Chris Middleton. We have Bam. We have DiVincenzo and Tower Hero, who I think could work as, like, a one-two punch at two position. Uh, Bledsoe is 30. I don't know if we'd be able to find a trade partner for him right now. We do have two first-round picks, uh, 18 and 24. And, yeah, Giannis goes to Miami, which is definitely a realistic uh, destination for him if he were to hit free agency in 2021. I would say it's probably, like, Toronto and Miami. So I'm glad we were able to move him to at least one of those teams. All right, so with my two first-round picks, I took Patrick Williams at 18. I really like that pick. He could be a nice defensive wing for us off the bench. And I did take Desmond Bain. View more maybe as a three and Williams maybe more of a four because we do have DiVincenzo and Hero. So maybe we really didn't need Desmond Bain, but it was either him or it was like Trey Jones and I ended up going Desmond Bain. So Wesley Matthews opts out. Kind of nice. We don't really need him. Robin Lopez opts in. He'll be our backup center next year. We could still probably compete for the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. Like, we would have one, two, three. Uh, maybe Bain will be in the G League. So, like, four. I don't know. Or three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can have, like, a roster right now. Let me actually see what it's going to look like in free agency. AD, is he going to leave the Lakers? now? Yeah, so, like, we have one, two... Like, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'll put Desmond Bain in the G League. So, I'm not even going to do anything for free agency. Uh, we could definitely look next offseason to move on from Eric Bledsoe, but we would just have to find a team that would want him. 
maybe we're going to have to wait till his last year of his contract where his value won't be, or it'll be a little bit up more. It's not like we can get more for him, but since it'll be an expiring, we can definitely move him. So teams aren't locked into his like long contract. So looking at player progression, Middleton is our highest rated player. He is going to be 29 this year. Bam is 23 though. He's going to be kind of our most prized possession at the moment. Eric Bledsoe is going to start regressing, unfortunately, and he has three full years after this. Yeah, three full years. Uh, it's not the worst contract in the world, but we'll see what happens with him. Maybe if he shines this year, we can find a realistic move next offseason. DiVincenzo, I might up his tendencies. We'll see how he does in the sim. Uh, there's Tower Hero, who I think will be the sixth man, but we'll play like 30 minutes along with DiVincenzo. And then, yeah, just really looking forward for Williams. Uh, Bain will be in the G League this year. I don't think DJ Wilson's going to do anything for us. All right, so I definitely want to send Patrick Williams to untap potential. I also want to do the same with, I think, Tower Hero and Dante DiVincenzo, because I know Bam's going to be really good. So, yeah, let me do that really quick. All right, so here's going to be the rotation for our first full season. Bledsoe at the 1, DiVincenzo at the 2, Middleton at the 3, Ilyasova at the 4, Bam at the 5, with the bench of Hero, Williams, Wilson, and Lopez. Like I said, Desmond Bain will be in the G League. Oh, I have, like, what, one more minute? We'll give it to Robin Lopez, sure. Uh, three and a half star defense. All right, uh, I think we might go to, like, balance, though. Eh, now defense is three and a half star. Okay. And our preseason power king at CourtneyNBA.com is 13th. You can see the Miami Heat, who we might face at one point. They are second. So they got a George Hill, Iggy, veteran backcourt there. Jimmy, Giannis, and then Brooke Lopez, one through five. All right. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the 2021 regular season. And we'll see if this Bucks team without Giannis can make the playoffs. So at the end of the 2021 regular season, the Bucks go 45 and 37. Not bad. We are probably a playoff team. Nicole Jokic actually wins the 2021 MVP. Anthony Edwards, Rookie of the Year on the Bulls. Schroeder, Sixth Man of the Year. Kawhi, Defensive Player of the Year. Job ja, Most Improved. And Brett Brown gets Coach of the Year. So the Heat were the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference, and Giannis was insane. Did he sign a contract extension with them? He did not yet. Interesting. We'll see if he stays in Miami this offseason. Jimmy Butler was really good. All right, so we are the seventh seed, taking on the Sixers in round one. Who got Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Hortford, Embiid, Baines, Matisse, McGee, Zaire Smith, Keldon Johnson, and Mike Scott. So here were the stats. Bam! 22 and a half points. Almost 11 rebounds, 2 assists, 2.1 blocks, almost a steal a night, and 63% from the field. Yeah, he's getting a max contract in the offseason. Middleton, pretty good. 21.5 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists. That is a career high, so you like to see that. And then he was 49, 39, 92. That's really good. Really good stuff for him being the number one. But so, 17, 5, and 6. We could maybe use that on a good team. He might, we could maybe trade him in the offseason. We'll see. Tower Hero, about 15 points, 4 rebounds, 38 from 3. Patrick Williams, 11 points, 5 rebounds. All right, he's got to get the efficiency up, definitely. DiVincenzo, about 9 points, 5.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists. Mm, hopefully, you can get better. Maybe Hero will be the starting 2 next year. And then there's Ilya Silva, Wilson, and Lopez, who probably all three won't be back on the team next year. So, can we win and upset the Sixers? Oh, my... Of course i always think i will they put me up at three to one and then we always blow it in game seven we literally got blown out damn all right i got excited there being up three to one but of course we blow it chris Middleton and bam were our top two scores here in the playoffs looks like patrick williams played really well uh how divincenzo do better better damn that sucks that we ended up blowing a 3-1 lead to philly the brooklyn nets win the 2021 nba finals and kyrie irving is your finals mvp they swept the clippers they also beat Giannis and the heat in seven in the conference finals all right so drift lottery i don't think we have anything coming up actually do we have miami's first no i don't believe so i only got one first out of them so we are gonna have a pick probably in the teens yeah we're gonna be at 17 the thunder get two and three in this draft that's kind of insane we're gonna keep most of the uh the front office here or the staff we're gonna sign jordan malone to be our cfo so yeah we have the 17th pick i mean like we could try to move blood so and like the pick and try to move up a couple spots i mean boston would get eh, i don't know if they would really want blood so that wouldn't make a lot of sense miami could be a team that would want blood so but that's if they brought back Giannis, which they haven't yet so i don't want to mess them up too much because then that wouldn't really be too realistic thunder detroit i'm trying to think like who would want eric blood so maybe denver and try to maybe get experimental and then play Murray at the two. Okay, Utah has cap space. Honestly, they need a point guard. Mike Conley's about to walk. Yes, yes. Let's do this. Let's do this. Give me the 21st overall pick and your top... Mm, you don't have your pick next year. And a uh, unprotected 2024 first. So two first round picks for Eric Bledsoe. I think they'll do this. And we pick up two first round picks. We move Eric Bledsoe. And probably fans are getting restless. We just traded our best player last year in Giannis. We just traded our third best player um, in Bledsoe. And Middleton obviously being the second best. Uh, so, 
things are going to get interesting, but I think we're going to be chilling. I think we're going to be chilling. We now have two first round picks once again, and I'll see you guys at rookie signings with who I draft. All right, so with the 17th pick in the draft, I took Mac McClung, who is a point guard out of Georgetown, but I believe he transferred. I don't know where off the top of my head. Maybe South Carolina or Marquette. I'm probably wrong. Just looked it up. It was Texas Tech. So he might be our starting point guard next year. And then I took Tracy Jackson Davis with the 21st pick, and he could be our starting power forward. Why not? We do have glaring holes at the point guard and power forward position uh we're gonna bring back obviously divincenzo and tower hero we're about to pay bam out of bio a lot of money i'm not gonna bring back dj wilson or thanasis onto the Gupo. uh Giannis is here what <laughs> he's gonna go to utah maybe eric bledsoe is that good of a recruiter or he would go to the clippers Knicks, or heat all right i don't think he'll go to utah because actually yeah they're gonna have to bring back mitchell yeah he's not going to utah so i will match whatever out bio gets i mean there is some good point guards here but it wouldn't make a lot of sense. I mean, like, Dinwiddie could be fun. Uh, or Schroeder. Hmm. Those are interesting options. Lonzo would be kind of fun as well on this team. But he was very inefficient. Markel Fultz. I mean, we'll see if these guys make it past restricted free agency. So, I'm going to re-announce the rights on everybody but Bam out of bio. And Bam was about to take a deal from the Jazz. All right. So, we are going to match that a four-year deal. Giannis is going to go back to the Heat, it looks like. Yeah. Did the Jazz get anyone? They got Mitchell back. They probably lose Gobert. They always do. So, it looks like Fox did sign. I mean, any other point guards? Dinwiddie, I'm not going to get oh, that expensive. I mean, we could go after Fultz because he's 23. I wouldn't mind that. You know what? I don't get Fultz a lot. Uh, we can't afford him. Wait, can we afford him? I believe we can afford him. Uh, so, I'm going to go after Marco Fultz. Why not? Why not? Let's do it. Uh, Kendrick Nunn. Oh, he's not a system fit, but I, I don't think I'm going to be defense next year. I think we're going to switch things up. Uh, so, I'm going to give Fultz a four-year deal. Yeah, let's let's commit to Fultz long term. And we signed Markel Fultz. So welcome to the team, Markel. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players for next year. We won't have a backup big. Which, you know, I don't like. So maybe also I'll put Mac McClung in the G League and sign like a one year rental center. Or he doesn't have to play, but we'll sign like Taj Gibson in. Do we get him? Come on. Do we get Taj Gibson? We do. And yeah, Giannis went back to the Heat. And Kawhi comes to the Eastern Conference to the Bulls. So play progression, Middleton went up. I'll take that. He's not regressing yet. He's an 88. Adebayo an 87. DiVincenzo an 83. Fultz an 83. Hero 80. So yeah, we have a very young team. And I'm very excited to see what we could do next year. So we do have three training camps here. And I don't know what I want to do. I think I want to send... Hmm. We'll send Hero on to potential. We'll get him up to an A+. We'll also do the same with Marco Fultz. Or maybe I'll send... We'll send Marco Fultz to combo guard. Uh, we do want to get him like, yeah, we'll send Marco Fultz to combo guard because we just invested a lot of money into him. So I want to make sure he's going to get really good. And then we'll send Patrick Williams to perimeter shooting. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so let's do that. All right, guys. So I'm actually going to send Mac McClung to the G League this year. And then we are going to have a rotation of Fultz, Hero, Middleton, uh, Tracy Jackson, Davis, TJD. And then Bam at the five. And then off the bench, DiVincenzo, Williams, Bain, and Taj Gibson. This isn't proficiency. We are going to switch it up. We're going to go to balance. And then our preseason power ranking, according to bit.com, is higher than 13. No, we actually dropped to 15. But I'll see you guys at the end of the 2022 regular season. And hopefully, we're a playoff team once again. All right, so we end the 2022 regular season with a 61-21 and 21 record. Luca was 0.5 assists away from averaging a triple-double. But yeah, I should talk about, we went 61-21. and 21. That is really good. Popo wins six men and rookie of the year. Kawhi defense to play the year in Chicago and Neka Kungwu most improved in Golden State and we get coach of the year in Mike Boonholz our second time winning that award with the Bucks and we're the one seed all right and Miami didn't make the playoffs what <laughs> Giannis and company couldn't make it to the playoffs wow they were bad all right uh, so we're taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers in round one Sexland, Osman, Love, and Drummond same starting five they have in real life favors Porter Jr. Maxi. Uh, Nance Jr. and Ennis. How's Maxi been? Pretty solid. Okay, so if we want to check out our stats, I think Fultz, yeah, he was our top guy. 23 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists, 59 from the field, 36 from 3, 75 from the line. We took a chance on him in free agency, and he's definitely delivered for us. Bam, 21.5 points, 11 rebounds, 2.5 blocks, almost a steal a night, 2 assists, 65% from the field. We gave him a big contract extension. He was the main guy in the honest trade, and he's been killing it. Middleton, about 19 points, 5.5 rebounds, 6 assists, 45 from 3. He's efficient. He knows his role. He plays good defense. I love it. I love it. He's our veteran guy. What's his perimeter defense? A minus, yeah. Tower Hero, 16.5 points, 4 rebounds, 41 from 3. Killing it. Uh, Desmond Bain, 41 from 3 as a rookie. I like it. Uh, Patrick Williams, 10 points, 36 from 3, 5 rebounds. All right. Uh, DiVincenzo, nine points, five rebounds. Not too efficient. And then there's Tracy Jackson Davis. Yeah. I don't 
Don't know if he's the answer at the four, but he wasn't very good here in his rookie year. And then there's Taj Gibson, the vet. So can we beat Cleveland in round one and get our first playoff series victory of the video? And we win in six. There we go. But now we're taking on the Boston Celtics. We're definitely going to be more of a challenge. Uh, here were the playoff stats from that six-game series. All right. Fultz was solid from the field. Not good from three. Ben was a monster. Um, so here we go. We're taking on Boston, who have Kemba Brown, Isaac... All right, Tatum, Williams, Halliburton. How'd they... They were able to afford that? How'd they do that? Because they are paying Tatum, Brown, and Kemba so much money. Interesting. All right. Uh, so, I guess Hayward walked, and they were able to do so, and they traded Marcus Smart, I guess. So, I want to see... Or, Battle of the Greens here. I just want to see how Game 1 does. Uh, if I'm kind of scared of this team, or we're going to be okay. Game 1 here in Milwaukee, we won by two points. Huge. Faults! Killing it, Markel. All right, can we go up 2-0? Can we win both games in Milwaukee? Great first quarter. Great first half. Oh, we're blowing him out. We're up 2-0. We won by 33 points. Bam! Seven blocks. He was almost perfect. Almost perfect. Zero turnovers as well. He was almost perfect. Hero drops a nice 30 bomb there. All right. Can we go up 3-0? Can we win in the TD Garden and go up 3-0? Beautiful first quarter. We dropped 40 on the road in the first quarter. That's what I'm talking about. We win by 14 faults. 32-7-9. Love it. Desmond Bain explodes for 24 off the bench. Bam, 17-15. and 15. Okay. We're one game away from going to the conference finals. Just one full season or two full seasons after trading Giannis Antetokounmpo. And we're going to sweep the Boston Celtics. Wow. We won by 19. Bam. Oh, killed at that series. Who was their center? Because he was no match. Robert Williams. No match for Bam. No match for Bam. And who be getting? Philly. So Philly's got the same starting five as they do in real life. Dave Matisse, Josh Hart, Spellman, Lee, Zara, and McGee. So bench isn't very good, but they have a great starting five. They were the sixth seed. They always beat me in 2K. And it looks like they're going to go up 1 0. So they dropped 43. Ben Simmons is so freaking good in 2K, man. Don't lose both in Milwaukee, please. Please. Okay, don't choke this. We're good. We're good. All right, we tied up 1 1. We end up winning by what is that? 35 points. Middleton drops 32. There we go, Chris. Coming alive. There's Middleton. Uh, fall to 12 assists. All right, can we go up two to one? Let's win this one at Wells Fargo. On the road, though, not a great first quarter. Okay, we came back a little bit, and we end up losing by six. Tower Hero drops 31. Bam, 29 and 12. Oh, but beat is so good. Game four now, oh, we have to win. We cannot go down three to one. All right, we're good. We're blowing them out when we're winning. So we end up winning by 32 there. Bam, 22 and 11. Faults with a double-double as well. DiVincenzo, all right, coming out of nowhere. Uh, so game five every match here. We got to win this. We got to win game five. Great first half. Great first half. Don't blow this. Don't blow this. Let's go. We win by 26 points. Bam is killing it. These playoffs. Uh, so is faults. So is faults. Middleton. Thank you for that efficient 24. And we are up three games to two going back to Wells Fargo. Good first quarter. Not a good second quarter. Good third quarter. Come on. Let's close it out. Okay, we're causing that. We're in the conference finals. We're in the conference finals. Tower Hero, 28 points. Fultz, 24 and 5. Middleton, 14, 7 and 6. Let's freaking go. And or we're in the finals. I'm not, not conference finals. Oh, but we're going to take on Luka, who we're going to lose. It just sucks because Luka and KP are so good in the playoffs here. Uh, great first half. Holy shit. Holy crap. We didn't win by 40. I will take that. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Game two here. Come on, let's go up 2-0. Let's go up 2-0. Let's go up... <sighs> damn it, damn it, damn it. I hate Luka. Game three here. First one in Dallas. Great start. Don't blow this. We were up by 17 after the first, and we're going to blow it. I knew 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 it. All right, we're hopping in. We're hopping in. Just cut it. Okay. One point game. Under 90 seconds left. Let's win this game. All right, so we're at the American Airlines Center. Let's get the starters in. Fault has 26, 6, and 8, man. He's killing it. Desmond Bain, A minus perimeter D. He's guarding Luka. All right, I'm cool with that. I don't know if, like, Middleton should guard him or DiVincenzo or Patrick Williams. Jalen Brunson, get out there. Faults, faults. No. Oh, my. God. Oh, he throws it away. Oh, okay. Curry gets it. Deven or Tower Heroes guarding him. Good D, good D. Come on. Yeah, we got to run some Middleton at the four. I don't like Tracy Jackson Davis here playing crunch time minutes. All right. Four point game. That sucked. Fultz gonna get right around D Rose and he posterizes Maxi Kleba. All right, Markel. This dude's a stud. Bam guarding Chris stops. Oh. And he's going to the line once again. KP made them both, and it's a four-point game. Honestly, when we get a screen from Bam here, I was thinking about like a floppy play for Middleton. Um, Bam roll, Middleton get out. Oh. 
Damn. Uh, Patrick Williams, who's now in. He's got A3. Middleton. Middleton. Out to Tower Hero. No. Oh my god, that was horrible. All right, give me a screen bam. This kind of sucks. Faults. Faults go right at KP. Go right at KP. No foul. Okay, we get a foul. Thank god. First free throw is up. And it is good. Please, Faults, knock this one down. And he does. All right, two-point game. All right, bam, guarding KP. Oh, good defense and KP. You're kidding me. Yeah, KP's got 26 on the night. I'm kind of debating taking the three here with Middleton. Kind of debating it. I don't know if we're going to get a good luck, and we did. We got a great luck. We got a great luck. Please tell me that's a three. No, it was a two. Oh, of course, foot was on the line. That sucks. The Mavericks do love their foreign players. They drafted Denny Abdia. I don't know how he fell to them back in the 2020 draft. Please miss this one, though. Please, because if he hits this, it's kind of over. Oh, he's, that's not in. Let's go. Kick it up to Tower Hero. Uh, Give it a Fultz. Mm, Fultz has B plus three. Screw it. Markel. Not a good release. Oh. 